Welcome back. Esports competitions are taking off across the nation with people getting paid to play video games. Well, now there is a push to make esports an official high school sport. Yeah, this fall, the National Federation of State High School Association and NFHS Network will roll out esports competitions in high schools across the country. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Moore spoke to local gamers who naturally would say that this is a good move. Here in Charlotte, there's a large community of people who enjoy eSports. They say it's a sport that goes beyond a controller and a screen and teaches valuable life skills. It's more than a hobby. See if I can find Greg Olson. For gamers. There we go. What they play on a screen is every bit as challenging as a traditional sport. Dwayne Meekins describes himself as a gamer, but some take the sport a step further. A gamer is someone who plays games for fun, uh, casually, and an esports athlete is someone who is very serious, they're competitive. Gid Sasser and Christopher Celestia are esports athletes who see the benefit to having esport teams in high school. It's the same fundamentals as traditional sports, it's just a digital playground. The esports competitions are expected to be rolled out in high schools in 16 to 18 states this fall. According to the NFHS, 72% of teens play video games regularly, and nearly 200 colleges in the United States and Canada are actively recruiting and offering scholarships for eSports. You have to figure out how to build up your professional army. You have to figure out how to go forward, and with these skills, you can translate them into real life. But not everyone agrees gaming is healthy. The World Health Organization added gaming disorder to its manual of disease classifications earlier this year, listing symptoms that echo other addictive or compulsive disorders. PlayVS is partnering with the NFHS to bring esports to high schools, now saying there are more high school gamers than athletes in this non traditional sport that's going well beyond the screen. It takes just as much skill and heart to actually get through that collegiate and professional stage. Right now, six states have signed up to include eSports this fall. North and South Carolina are not currently on that list, but states do have until August 20th to sign up for this fall. Reporting in West Charlotte, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte. Esports, it's a game, right? Sports, really? I don't know, but we put it to you guys. We wanted to know what you think. Should esports be considered a high school sport? Overwhelming majority of you say no, you don't think it should be at around 75, 74, 73%, uh, 27% saying yes. My you see question, those athletes? You know what? Do you, get a, do you get a scholarship for it? I don't know. You got you more do? people playing video games than playing uh, football or basketball, so there you go.